Got a request to eat a tube of Preparation H. No delays, no nothing. Let's just do it. everyone shoe nice again well basically people are probably wondering why i'm not making any videos right now and i joined a 99 dollar month thing so you guys couldn't see ads so they went maliciously into my bank account so when i went to pay my rent for the month i didn't have the thousand dollars and it ended up costing me my family i'm not crying the blues but i had to sell my laptop I slept here last night, but it's comfortable as a mofo. I'm not asking for donations. I'm asking for investments. Nothing worse than the tampon burps. <laughs> that man with the dreamy blue eyes of Zac Efron and the diet of a goat is known as Shoe Nice because everyone online has a stupid username. By accepting every horrible eating challenge, he has become a YouTube legend with 90 million views and zero functioning internal organs. The real unsung hero is his butthole. If ever there was someone perfectly suited to be homeless, it's a dude who eats garbage on the rag. And don't worry, he's not homeless homeless, he's Denver homeless. Everyone there gets free weed and old Tebow jerseys. If he really wanted to make money, he'd be sucking down tiny bags of heroin and muling them across the border. You have to wonder what his end game is. I mean, besides choking to death on a G.I. Joe. Shoe Nice is at a crossroads, on an actual street. If things don't get better, the next thing he'll stuff in his mouth will be the business end of a shotgun. That's why I flew him to Hollywood, where we don't eat gluten, carbs, or anything with a face in this week's celebrity profile. Oh, radical. About what I expected. Come on, I'll buzz you in. Hey, Daniel, come on in. What's up, Shoe Nice? How you doing, Daniel? How you doing, you big hobo? I gotta say, it's pretty cool that you stole the race car shopping cart. Yeah, you used to have a kid in it. I assume that was a joke. Uh, got you a housewarming gift? It's a cake? What kind? Urinal? Oh, you know me so well, Daniel. Want some? No, thank you. First of all, you were on our show before. You put on one of my videos and then dubbed over my voice. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> pee pee when I take a bath. Talk to me about how that changed your life immediately. Um, it actually didn't do anything at all for me. Okay. I basically um, lost my family four years ago. My ex-wife just didn't understand the YouTube fame. She's like, you're a psycho, and threw me out like the guy on Close Encounters of the Third Kind when he built the mud castle in the living room. Do you take any responsibility and say, hey, I might be a little crazy myself? I mean, you understand that, that eating tampons for a living right. is, is, is a tough pill to Some swallow. people blame it on me being in the war in a helicopter landing on my head, but I was eating stuff way before Desert Storm. <laughs> And then when I went to Desert Storm, I was eating, like, sand sandwiches and... Did people enjoy oh, it Oh, the troops loved me. When did you know that you were good at eating condoms and tobacco spit? Right around four or five years old, my neighbors would just bring a chunk of grass or, you know, a piece of squirrel shit over to me, and I would just eat it on the playground, and I'd get These are horrible neighbors. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Who brings a chunk of squirrel <laughs> shit over to the kid next door? <laughs> When was the first time you ate a tampon? Um, I'd say probably seven. I swallowed it without water, though, and it swelled up like an umbrella in my throat, and the only oh. thing that saved me was a string hanging out of my mouth. I'm chilling like a mofo, bro. You say chilling like a mofo yeah. quite a bit in your videos. Yeah, because motherfuckers kind of rude for kids. You keep it clean for the kids? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I like it. You know, I always give a warning, you know, don't do this at your house. Do it at your friend's house, so if you die, your parents can sue their homeowner's insurance. That's helpful. Why is anybody upset with that? What's the worst city you've had to live in? Probably Albany, New York. <laughs> hey, easy, Chronic. Oh, it's your dog. Yeah, he doesn't bite, because he's not real. Have you ever considered leaving Denver to be homeless for real? No. I feel like a lot, lot, lot of fake homeless people there. Would you agree with that or no? A lot of fakes. They have the iPhone and the cigarettes, dumb and money. You smoke a lot of weed? I'm high right now. Oh, that's okay. Hey, don't touch that, buddy. I eat that. My no. <laughs> What's the worst thing you've ever ate and you like just gave up, said, I'm not doing it? Probably a 60-year-old 
vagina. You didn't even need to say the vagina. I would have just left it at a 60-year-old. If there was a movie made about your life, who would you want to play you? Probably Matt Damon or Tom Brady. Tom Brady seems like a good pick. Shoot, nice. nobody respects a man who begs for money on the streets, so we're gonna have you do it like I do, live on television. Live from close to the Sony lot, but not actually on the Sony lot, it's Daniel Tosh's Be Nice to Shoe Nice Telethon. Quiet! Please welcome YouTube Zone, the homeless human garbage disposal, Shoe Nice! Uh, Oh, wow, you look fabulous. Where's your tie? I got nervous and ate it. <laughs> All right. Well, Shoe Nice Rex is entered for our enjoyment. You call in pledges, and we'll track your donations on our tampon tote board. Shoe Nice already had a dollar, so we have some spotting. But I want to see heavy flow. Manning the phones, we've got some of America's top comedians, which means they're also the world's top comedians, because foreign people aren't funny. First up, it's time to put your love of eating bathroom paper to the test with a roll of brown paper towels. <laughs> Don't be afraid to call in. Next, we've got a dozen plastic eggs full of silly putty. You can actually make your own silly putty at home, kids. Little Elmer's glue and laundry detergent. That's gonna make his poop stretch for miles. Yeah. Come on, guys, light up the phones. Drinking hand sanitizer is a good way to protect your digestive system against germs. Hand sanitizer actually kills 99% of the people who ingest it. You serious? Yeah, if you don't look it up. A trash bag full of barbershop hair. You guys like barbershops, right? What, what do you mean, you guys? <laughs> don't do this to me. Can you just say, like, all guys? Then? All guys, all guys like barbershops. Nobody's calling. See if he'll eat my phone. I read once that phones are dirtier than toilet seats. I eat at a toilet seat once. So I ate a toilet seat, Shoe Nice. Yo, he kind of looks like Matt Damon, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, he does yeah, not look like Matt Damon. No. That's it. Do I look like Matt Damon? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Now, if you eat a roll of fiberglass insulation, you're never going to be cold again. He's eating a goddamn tire, folks. Why aren't you pledging anything? The best way to start your day is with a nice bowl of tax. I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't drink milk. How are you with lead-based semi-gloss white paint? I'm just fine with that, thank you. Time for a barbecue. You're gonna eat charcoal briquettes. You just can't get that flavor with gas. This tar is boiling hot. Make sure you blow on it first. We're really putting the tar in tart. I have a taxidermied pigeon. This thing is packed with formaldehyde. Maybe you should skip this one. No, nope. okay, he's going for it. Okay, this can't be his first pigeon. No, it isn't. That was 24 hours straight, Shoe Nice, and the tampon, sadly, hasn't gotten any bloodier because people with money don't use phones anymore. Okay, that's my fault. Should have used words. People could have sent in text. People love to do that. Oh, well. Well, listen, I don't want you to go home empty-handed, so I am willing to donate $100 out of my own pocket. Thank you so much. There you go. Get yourself a good night's sleep and a hot meal. OK, he's eating it. Oh, shoot, nice. You'll never learn. That's how you do a charity show, Comedy Central. One mass of stars that are too many medium ones. If you guys see Shoe Nice on the street, tell them his thing aired tonight.